Hi everyone, this is Tessa from Our Jolly Oleo Journey. Today I'm going to show off my 2020 Young Living Advent Calendar. It's packaged like a storybook, and the name of the story is called Once Upon a Farm. Throughout the storybook, every day we'll be on a journey through the Young Living Global Farms. So let's go! On day one, chapter one, we are going on St. Mary's Lavender Farm and Distillery, which is in St. Mary's, Idaho. Inside the box, there is an introduction of the farm, a gold necklace with a pendant on it, with the lavender symbol on it, and a seedlings Calm essential oil. I have already opened this one and started using it. So St. Mary's Lavender Farm was where the legacy all began. In 1992, Gary Guillaume planted some unhybridized lavender seed, which he got from uh, Provence, France, and he planted them on this now 200 acres of land in St. Mary's. And that was where the modern essential oil movement took root. On the farm, you can find Melissa, goldenrod, and lavender growing and being distilled. Lavender is one of the ingredients in this signature blend, Seedlings Calm. If you've used any of the seedling products before, then you will know how this one smells like. It smells so gentle, so soft. It contains lavender, bergamot, coriander, ylang ylang, and geranium. It makes the perfect oil to diffuse to if you would like to establish a bedtime routines for your babies or little ones. Many adults and older children love it too. So that concludes our day one, chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two. Chapter two, we have Gaijai's essential oil and the farm that we're visiting is Young Living Lavender Farm and Distillery in Mona, Idaho. Like the previous one, this one's supposed to come with a charm, but it, uh, I, I don't have that pendant here with me. I am suspecting that it has fallen down somewhere. Maybe I'll find it in day eight or day, day, day five or so on. So we'll find out. However, this farm is an iconic farm. It spans nearly 1,700 acres of land and is home to the largest privately owned essential oil distilleries in the world. This distillery features a closed lip system that saves approximately 260 million gallons of water a year. Other than lavender, you could also find clary sage, goldenrod, melissa, juniper, blue yarrow, and white fur growing and being distilled. In fact, I planted a baby clary sage on the farm myself last year when I went on the farm visit. Juniper is one of the plants that are grown and distilled on our Mona farm. It is also one of the ingredients in our signature blend Dajais. Apart from juniper, you can also find tarragon, peppermint, ginger, lemongrass, anise, fennel, and patchouli in it. Dajais is one of our NH NHPs in Canada, natural health products. So what are NHPs, you ask? According to Health Canada, these are all naturally occurred products substances that are used to restore and maintain good health. These are often products that are made from plants, animals, microorganisms, or marine sources in the forms of tablets, capsules, creams, tinctures, ointments, and drops. These are powerful claims. For digest, you could claim that it can help soothe digestion and relieve digestive discomforts. Pains that stem from a variety of causes like food poisoning, constipation, gas pain, or discomforts like nausea, motion sickness, uh, vomiting, you could claim that Digiz would be the help for them. And this was actually one of the first oil. Oh, actually, it was the very first oil that I carried in my purse. Back in those days, I tend to have motion sickness. My son sometimes would have tummy discomforts that we didn't know where it stemmed from. It could be because he forgot to wash his hands carefully and he got, he got tummy ache after that. It could also be because he had eaten something really cold that upset his stomach. So this was the very first oil that I carried in the purse. I hope you will start using it. Take it out from your PSK 
and take benefit of take advantage of it. That concludes our day two. Thank you for watching.